Okay, we're going to see if we can try to fix this monitor. This monitor is having this problem with the uh, won't come on and the power light down here was blinking on and off, which I've seen a lot of people have trouble with. And I'm going to try to plug it in here. Let's see what happens. Yeah, the light comes on. Like Normally it, it blinks uh, constantly, but now it just kind of blinks once and turns off. But from what I've seen, it's just, just a bunch of capacitors in the power supply. I'm going to give that a try. So, this is this happens to be a gateway monitor, but... Uh, and it's this particular one right here. But uh, they all have pretty much the same capacitors and power supply. So I'm going to open it up and see what I can do here. Okay, so just take all the screws off the back and there'll be a whole bunch of little snaps along the edge and you just kind of stick a screwdriver in there and pry it open. You open it up, usually power switch will have a plug there, just unplug it so that you can get rid of the front. Then take out all the screws for the screen and lift the screen out of the frame. When you lift the screen off the frame, there'll be quite a few things still plugged in in there. Just reach in there and unplug those, just pull those big plugs out. Okay, so that's got the screen off the frame. I should mention, if you've never done this before, when you're pulling these things out, you're going to have to pry that tab that way or this way to get it to release and come out of the plug. Same with the smaller ones. You have this little tab, you're gonna have to pull that tab up from the other side to get it to unlatch so that you can pull these out. And you get those all out, the big main plug here. It doesn't even have a clip. Just pull it out and you've got the screen completely out. And this isn't what the problem is. The problem is going to be in here, the power supply. And next you pull that out. Just take all this tape off. Looks really important. Just make sure you put it all back when you're putting it back together. It'll be fine. Okay, so pull, get all the screws off of there and the tape. Pull the tape up and you pull that cover off. Here's your circuit boards. The um, power supply is going to be under this one, so the next thing you're going to do is pull these screws off here and take this board off. Okay, now with those screws off, you got to pull this off, and there'll be various things still plugged in, just unplug them the same way that you unplugged before. Okay, with that opened up, we're getting into seeing what we really need to see here. These are your power supply capacitors here. And what you're looking for, you're looking for the tops just to be kind of bulged up or they might be actually completely blown out. So when you're looking at these, you'll see that, for example, this one is fine. This one is bulged out, this one's bulged out, this one's bulged out, this one's okay, this one's bulged, this one's bulged, and this one's a little iffy. But these things are cheap. Um, it's not a bad idea to just replace them all, but you only have to really replace the ones that are bulged out. And keep in mind these are polarized. Keep this strip 
in line with this line on the circuit board and you won't run into problems but their values are right there on the side this is a 25 volt 470 microfarad I believe they are all 470's which is uh, pretty easy to come by uh, from what I can see the big ones are fine if you look at the tips there no problem there now curiously on this monitor um, I got one that blew on the uh, logic board uh, a little bit more than normal you can see this one's fine this one's fine and this one's gotta go but that'll be no problem always look around make sure there's not any more that you Got to replace because this is this is probably stopping this monitor from doing anything at all. And so the next thing you do is you head on over to Radio Shack and get some capacitors of the right values, pull them off, bring them with you, whatever you need to do. What I might be doing, I've got this spare power supply here. I might be stealing, might be stealing capacitors out of this one because these all look good but I don't think I have quite enough so I think I'm going to have to go to Radio Shack okay so now I have all the capacitors all the capacitors that were blown I got them all out of the board now and uh, sorry I didn't show you how to do that basically you just heat up the heat up the uh, solder points on the uh, other side of the board and you pull the capacitor through and uh, that's about it and also I took the one blown one out of the logic board and now we're ready to put the new capacitors in and I would said that I was just gonna go down to Radio Shack and pick these up but believe it or not these particular values that I needed they did not have at Radio Shack which defies belief really but so what I did is I actually I put this uh, did a internet search for these values this one's uh, 470 microfarad 25 volt just did a Google search and actually believe it or not came up on amazon.com and uh, so I said yeah give me six of those and then I needed the one 16 volt for the logic board and there it is and uh, one of those put them on an Amazon shopping cart and they showed up here and these are 98 cents a piece so a buck a piece seven dollars worth of capacitors and now we're ready to put them in okay so now we've got the capacitors on there new capacitors of course are the ones that are different size and you know they'll be a different size sometimes like for example oh how am I going to do this the one you see right in front of you there is the same value as the ones that I replaced it with behind it there that kind of a light blue one um, and in and uh, yeah basically so all their stems are sticking out and they're now soldered on they're nice and good and you just clip them off now with a pair of wire cutters uh, flush with the rest of them so the circuit board can go back in and the other one on the logic board looks very different but come on focus but it is the right value and uh, this of course right here be the new one and same thing cut the stem off but one to make sure that you remember that you've got to keep the negative strip in line with negative line on the circuit board because these are polarized and this should do the trick we'll put it back together see if it turns on 
Okay, so we've got it back together. Sorry, I didn't go into detail on how to put it back together, but it's, you know, basically the same way you took it apart. Um, but, yeah, got it on a stand, got it cord back on. And let's plug it in here and see if it works. There we go. Power light comes on. It said gateway there for a moment. And what's important here is that the power light is not blinking or just turning off altogether. So, yeah, there we go. So there's no signal, but it's on. Turn it back on. Hmm. Anyway, I believe this means that it works. And uh, it's usually hooked up to a computer. So, anyway, if you're seeing this video, this is the monitor for the computer that is editing this video, so that means that it works, and uh, hopefully this helps. Monitor like this, this is a, this is a 21 inch monitor, and these go for about 175, 200 bucks, something like that. So if your monitor blows, you can just repair it by a handful of capacitors. In this case, it was seven dollars rather than you know two hundred or three hundred. And um, hopefully, this uh, helps somebody out there. Okay, and here we have the monitor is coming on. Um, as you can see, no more blinking light. And the kids can get back to using my computer for everything, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that fixes the capacitor problem on one of these LCD monitors.